Remember that time we were at So You Think You Dance last year and Florence and the Machine song was used by Dee Casbury for a contemporary routine and then a year later we were sitting at So You Think You Dance and she was performing it live on the show? I remember that. Talk to me about the sensible velvet in the middle of the summer. Um, it's it's, a, it's beautiful. It's We're about fashion here. Yeah, so. it's it's cold in the uh, it's cold in the um, the theater. But um, I felt like this season I was trying to be a little bit more older than I am, and uh, even in the audience I started dressing up. I was kind of like I want to like create amazing work on the uh, the show and on the stage, but then I want to like like clean and chic in the audience, kind of look a little bit more professional, and not so like I'm rugged. And I'm a you know vintage. Right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Are you aware as a choreographer of the impact that using a song on a show like So You Think You Can Dance can have on a band or an artist? Absolutely. Um, Jason Mraz is the first song I did, the version that I used though, because I, I love his CD stuff, I really do, but his live, his concerts and his acoustic stuff is honestly where all his music is, it's where, my, it's my favorite artist of all time, and when I used that, that version went to like number 10 the next day on iTunes, and that was the first time I was like, whoa, I, I kind of want to use artists that maybe not everyone knows, but sometimes America can still connect with it. We were in the elevator and I saw a ginormous birthday cake, so it's your birthday. Day. It is. My, my, it's actually my birthday on Saturday. Okay, so did you eat the cake before the show, or are you waiting till after? No, no. I'm giving it to the dancers. They all look like they—they're the only people here that could eat it and carry the weight. Talk to me a little bit about your fashion, because we're big on fashion on Buzznet, and I've been watching the show religiously. And I don't think you've ever worn the same suit jacket twice. Is that true? Well, then it's not a suit to be honest, but um, I, I'm sure I have at some point. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, I don't have this endless wardrobe. I'm not like Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> and if you had one celebrity out there in the world to do a duet with, doesn't matter if they can dance or not, in our dream world, so who a would dance, that... A dance duet? Yeah, a dance duet. Who would you pick? Who's your celebrity crush? Oh, wow. That's a really, really tough question. Um, I, I think Mary Murphy. <laughs> He said it, Mary, time for a duet. Tell me about Dance Day and everything that Dizzy Feet is doing. We're really sure. excited about that. Well, uh, the Dizzy Feet Foundation has actually joined together with the Larry King Cardiac Foundation and we formed a new project called Dance For Your Life, which we stole the title from this show. Uh, and it really is to get people organized into dancing, not just on Dance Day, but forever. You know, that's gonna help their health. Right. Uh, but on Dance Day, I'm not sure yet where I've gotta be because we're doing um, uh, auditions for American American Idol as well. So I think I'm, I'm on my way to Denver. I'll try and organize something there. If not, I'm going to Washington to do something there. But it's, it's just great for everybody out there to be able to organize themselves. If you could pick any celebrity, whether they can dance or not, to do a duet with, who would it be? Lord, that's a good one. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> he's a babe, right? Yeah. And he can really dance because he he's in a boy from Oz. Sing, you know, he can, hey, he can sing to me all he wants while he dances, too. <laughs> So talk I actually would like a trio. Let's throw Bad Pitt in there as well. No. <laughs> there we go. All right. See him and Troy. Come on now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna so. do a gladiator number with him. No. <laughs> Where do you like find your clothes, and what's your inspiration? Because oh it's got to be hard God. week after week, two times a week to have fierce clothes. Thank you. I uh, painstakingly pick everything. I do all my own shopping, buy everything. I do. Um, somebody was asking me about my jewelry last night. I wanted to know, you know, that they could never afford it. I said, wrongo. I got that. There's a jewelry district in New York City. That earrings and necklace that I had on last night were a total of seven dollars. <laughs> Hey, buzz netters, get to New York. So you dress yourself. You don't have a stylist. No, I do not. And where do you, um, where's your... Pop, that would probably drive me absolutely nuts because they bring a bunch of stuff to me and I wouldn't like most of it. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Kelty, and I'm backstage at So You Think You Can Dance, and I have a new life goal, to be best friends with Mary Murphy. Yeah, you know.